video will show you how to create a permalink through the Delaware Art Museum's online collection, eMuseum. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you're using Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or, For or Firefox. The um, database is not set up to be used in Safari and will work for most things, but for permalinks you'll need to be in one of the other browsers. So um, we're in Google Chrome and we're going to go ahead and go to the online collection by clicking search the collection. Once we're here, we're just going to pick a work of art. Okay, so once you're at the work of art that you would like to link, now a permalink could be used if you're going to embed a link, say in an email, if you need to um, direct somebody to the eMuseum page so that they see a specific image, or if you're on our site and are going to make, say, a hyperlink document for your classroom or something of that nature, and you want the link to the actual eMuseum page for that specific image, you cannot just use the URL that you see up here and copy and paste it because that will change over time with this database, so you need to access the permalink. The way we go about doing that is once you're on the record you want, you click on the green magnifying glass to get the bigger image. And the number that you're looking for, the important number, is whatever comes right after objects. So in this case, it's 5523. So we need to remember that number, 5523. Okay, now we're going to have to manually generate the URL that you'll have to use. So I've got mine saved here, and this is the URL that you'll need to create any permalink. So you might want to pause the video and write this down or type it into a document on your computer as well. Now, remember that number that we got from the enlargement, 5523. We're going to take the base URL, which we know that this is what we'll use for all permalinks, and we just replace the last four digits with the object number. So ours is 5523. So when I take this entire URL and plug it into a new browser, it should take me directly to that object. So we'll also look at how to do this with an artist because it is slightly different though we use the exact same URL. If we're looking for the artist, we're going to go ahead and just search for Whoever we want, let's say we're looking for a Howard Pyle. And we find his artist entry if we can. There he is. And if, again, if this is the entry that I want to send them to, it's the exact same idea as the object entry, but it's um, only one difference, which is when we click on the magnifying glass, instead of looking for the number directly after objects, we're looking for the number directly after people. So this number is 75. So when we go to our URL, that we have saved. We replace this with people. And we replace this with 75. So if I copy and paste this into a new tab, it will take me to the Howard Pyle page directly. So that's the only difference is that if you're doing a person, you replace the word object with people, and the number is the one that comes directly after people instead of the word object. So those are the only two things you need to remember, object and the number and people and the number. And again, make sure you have the base URL written down. This will not be generated for you. You have to manually type it in to eMuseum in order to create the permalink. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.